So the goal today is to show you quickly how to bring in a map from ArcMap into Adobe Illustrator in a fashion so that if you need to go back to Adobe ArcMap and change something, you can line it up perfectly, copy and paste it or bring it back into Adobe Illustrator and line it up perfectly after you've formatted it. And here's the trick. Basically what you need is a neat line or a frame line um, around your map. So make sure that you insert a frame line of some sort that around your map and arc map. And once you export it to AI, make sure that you don't accidentally move the map around or accidentally zoom in a little or zoom out a little. So once it's set, it's set. But presuming that you wanted to change the classification scheme or something, if you have a neat line around your map and you haven't moved it around and zigged and zoomed and all that good stuff, here's how you do it. So let's, I'll just show you. We'll file, export. All right, AI map, and we'll call this line up one. All right, and then we'll go over to Adobe Illustrator and we'll open this puppy. All right, and so we go in and we tweak a bunch of things, etc. Add a nice title. That wasn't Hungarian, by the way. That was just me being tired. So, all right, and we make a bunch of changes. Let's pretend, and then we're like, oh, sh nakies. This is the wrong classification scheme. We wanted five classes. Ah, man. Or maybe we need, we are missing a county. We accidentally deleted one. We want to bring it back in perfectly lined up so that we can get that one county. All right, no problem. Here's what we do. We go back here, and we'll just export this. Let's make a change, I guess. So you guys can really see what I mean. So we'll do that. Oh yeah, and I was going to add another class. So we'll do five classes. We change the colors, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we'll just go to File Export, and you can probably already see what I'm going to do. Once we export this, We can open this in Illustrator, and we can even move, one thing I want to do here is we can move this around on the page, etc. All right, so we're going to open line up two, and then we're going to just simply select everything, copy, go here. Create a new layer so we don't totally screw everything up. Paste. And then, of course, we can just move this to line up perfectly. You And rather than line up the counties, you can just try to line up the neat line. The neat line makes it really easy. This way too, if you res if you rescaled one using and as long as you held down the shift key with a neat line, you'll simply be able to rescale it to line it up. So that's the trick. Good luck. If this, if you ever need to do this, it's not a huge issue. Of course, you'll have to get rid of those dang clipping masks. Have a good one.